drive. So we're moving into the haul portion of this video, but first I just want to talk a little bit about the store itself. So a friend and I, my roommate and I, I should say, were on TikTok and we saw a little TikTok come through that was talking about a new K-pop store that had opened up in Toronto and they were called Light Up K. We had seen them before, like heard the name before, but we didn't know it was going to be a store in Toronto until recently. So very happy that we came across that TikTok. As you could probably tell from the video, it was a bit of a commute for us, not too bad. Um, it's just basically on the other side of the city than where we are located. So it wasn't too bad. Toronto has a very good uh, public transit system. So we actually hopped on a GO train 
which took us across the city to the other side but the good thing about this go train in particular it was a very short trip so it honestly cost about as much as subway fare for us which is great has a lot more right leg room and there was not a lot of people because we went in the middle of the day on a weekday um so everybody was at work <laughs> so it was you know a really easy smooth commute to get there and then of course when we got there we found the store pretty easily it was easy to find via google maps but there was also a tiktok on their account that showed you how to get there if you were coming from the subway um, we ended up coming from obviously the go train which is different but we were still able to locate it really easily now the inside of the store as you could see from the footage i shared in my vlog it was very clean very organized and very bright i would say like it had prime window like sunlight <laughs> it was great in there it was really great for lighting i'm sure you could tell by the footage once again it was just so bright so nice and there was a lot of cool features with this store so they didn't only you know just sell k-pop albums um there was also k-drama soundtrack uh i don't know what were the osts that's what they're called <laughs> um ost box sets there were things that weren't albums there was like like things like this like little stickers and pouches they had more than just the albums as well they had platform versions and digipacks and all kinds of fun things they had magazines even which i don't think i've seen carried in any other store in toronto so yeah, my roommate and I decided we wanted to go on a little adventure and I had an idea of what I wanted to get when we got there. They had almost everything. There was just one album that they didn't have, but I'm sure um, I'll be able to get it in the future. They did say that if you didn't see something on the shelves and you saw it online, on their online store, that you could ask them and they could get it for you, but it was out of stock online as well and that was um one of the versions a specific version of espa's girls album as you can see in the footage once again they did have literally every other version of the album except for the one that i wanted so that's okay that's just me being picky but they did have the two other albums that i wanted and that was tnx and alas dark dream it's an older album but um i've been recently getting back into alas and i never owned this one so i said if i saw it i would get it and that's what i did but yes, before we go into the unboxing, again, there was just really cool features of the store, like the little sign-in whiteboard where you could write your name or your handles, your social handles. There was also a photo card trading wall, which I thought was so cool. So if you have photo cards to trade, you can bring them in there and see if they have any cards that you've been looking for. They didn't have any that I needed, but there was so many as you probably saw in the footage once again. But yes, overall, just a really great experience. And like I said, it wasn't too hard to get to. So I think we're gonna go back with a few other friends, hopefully soon. But yes, that is it for now. So let's just go through what I got. So as mentioned, I did get these little stickers. They are BT21 hologram stickers. They cost $3.90 Canadian. That's another thing I forgot to mention. The pricing in this store was honestly some of the best, oops, uh, some of the best pricing I've seen for Canadians, uh, for Canadian K-pop stores, in my opinion, because uh, our dollar is not great. So, you know, an album may cost $20 US, but in Canada, that means like 27, like you got to add a lot. So, um, I don't want to obviously call out any other stores, but I did see this at another store recently and it cost $46.99 there before tax. Whereas at this store, it cost, what was it? $32.99, $34.99, something like that before tax. So a whole like ten dollars cheaper which is kind of crazy um so yeah love that but here's a little sticker pack little hollow shookies i'm very excited to put those in my bullet journal they're gonna be perfect i'm gonna use this whole set it's so cute so there is that and then i also did get this little shooky pouch and as you can hear i did put some money in it so i have a little card wallet and because i never carry cash around with me there's no room in that wallet for cash so I bought this little pouch to put cash if I do. So it has two little zips and in one hand or in one side, I should say, I have some money. And then in the other side, I have some coins. There you go. There's some Canadian loonies and toonies for you to see. But anyway, so this will be perfect just to have in my backpack because like I said, coins and paper money or plastic money in our case does not fit in my little card wallet. So yeah, bought a little pouch for that 
and then we can move in to the albums that I got. So let's start with the last. So we just open up here. My pulls are right here. So let's take a quick look for my postcard. I got Bakeyul. Very cute. For those who don't know, my bias is one June. And then we got, ooh, we got these two cards here. So we got Sonya, who was one of the uh, members that I used to collect along with Wanjun. And then we also, oops, we also, there we go, got Yejun. So very cute cards. But yes, no Wanjun, but that's okay by me. They're all very cute. Um, but yeah, I'll try and trade. We'll see. I know it's an older album now, so it might be a little difficult, but I'll try. And then it also came with some really cute stickers. So that was album number one. I was actually very surprised to see it there. I wasn't expecting it to be there just because it is an older album. I've been meaning to buy it for a little while now, and I finally did. So very happy about that. So let's just move that off to the side for a minute. And then we got TNX. So this is a chunky boy. This is a fat album, let me tell you. Um, so yeah. Here we go. I love the way it opens. It is super reflective, so I'm going to try and hide. But you have the photo book here, and it is also very thick. Very happy with that. But here we go. These are my photo cards. They did come in like a little plastic, what's it called? Um, sleeve? I don't know. It was sealed, whatever it was. But anyways, and it was sealed. Oh, you saw my person. But it was sealed like this, so you couldn't see who was in there. Pretty cool. But for my ID, as you can see, I got Junhyuk. And the same went for my photo card. So I was wondering if it was always guaranteed that you got like a member set, but I watched a few unboxings and no, nope, it's not guaranteed. So I got just a little lucky there. But again, my biases are Hyunsu and Taehoon. So I was hoping for Hyunsu because I'm only planning to collect him. But yes, obviously didn't pull him, but that's okay. And then there's a bunch of postcards for every single member in here as well as the CD. So this is kind of like what the photo cards were in. It was in like a sealed thing. I haven't opened this yet either and I probably won't anytime soon. And then we did get a member poster as well. And the member poster that I got was Tatum. So that's very exciting for me. There he is and there's the back. Cute. So, and then I really liked this. I know it's like nothing that special, but I just really like the way it was designed. So I don't know, maybe I'll frame it one day and put it up somewhere. And then these are stickers, which I really enjoy. So that was my little mini haul of everything that I picked up at Light Up K. If you are ever in the Toronto area, highly recommend you check them out. Or if you're Canadian and you're used to going used to going to other k-pop stores in the area and you haven't heard of light up k i would highly recommend checking them out because yeah this was great <laughs> i'm so happy with everything that i got again i just had a really great experience in the store the staff was so nice um they complimented my nct ita bag and all my enamel pins so that made me feel nice <laughs> but um yeah i'll definitely be going again and maybe you guys will see another haul so or vlog and haul but anyway I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.